Instagram hashtags are one of the most easiest ways to get more reach and views on your content. However, there's so much different information on the internet that it can be extremely confusing and overwhelming on which strategy to follow. That's why in this video, I'm going to give you the most updated and in-depth guide on Instagram hashtags in 2023. I'll be going over how many hashtags you should be using, hashtag mistakes to avoid, and how to find trending hashtags that will get you on the explore page. To start off, let's address an important question. Are hashtags still relevant in 2023? And the answer is absolutely yes. Hashtags are not just a great way to get on the explore page, but it can also increase brand awareness for your business. Nike during the pandemic lockdown used the hashtag play inside to encourage its customers to use that hashtags and publish videos of them working out. This got over 70,000 posts and it was great for brand awareness. Hashtags are also a great way to show your support to social issues. For example, the K-pop band BTS posted this on Twitter and used the hashtag Stop Asian Hate. It has over 2.3 million likes and is one of the most liked posts in 2021. And finally, if you're an e-commerce brand and you're trying to sell more products, using user-generated content or UGC is a great way to improve brand awareness. Here's a great example by Goldie and it can be as simple as tagging someone on your product. Now let's talk about the number of hashtags you should be using in your content. To better understand the hashtags in 2023, it's important to know the history of Instagram and hashtags. Instagram allows users to have up to 30 hashtags on their posts. When Instagram was new, it encouraged users to use as many hashtags as possible. I mean, it makes sense, right? The more hashtags and keywords you use in your content, the better the chances of it going viral and getting more reach. However, with the rise of TikTok and video content in 2020, and the TikTok algorithm clearly only using three hashtags, Instagram pivoted their strategy. In fact, the Instagram creators page went out and made a post saying that they want users to have no more than three to five hashtags in their posts. This is also proven true by an experiment done by Hootsuite. They took over 20 Instagram posts with similar content and niche, and in 10 of them, they only used three to five hashtags, and in the other 10, they used up to 30 hashtags. The ones with three to five hashtags got 14% more views. Now talking about mistakes, let's go over some of the most common Instagram hashtag mistakes that content creators make. Hashtag mistake number one is using only popular or generic hashtags. This is hands down the most easiest common mistake that content creators make. In theory, it makes sense, right? You want to be using the most popular hashtags because they get the most exposure. However, in the long term, these hashtags won't get the results that you're looking for. Sure, hashtags like love and beautiful get millions of posts every single day, but these are going to be useless for your business or your brand. You'll definitely get likes and follows, but it's not from people who are interested in your brand or your business. It's also like finding a needle in a haystack, except that no one will find your content in this haystack. Instead, you should be focusing and using keywords that are related to your industry, your target audience, and the services you offer. Mistake number two is ignoring local hashtags. This is a big one if you have a brick and mortar business or you service a specific location. Getting involved in your community is a great way to build relationships and increase your exposure within the community you're trying to reach. Let's say you're a marketing agency or a restaurant in New York, you wanna be using various relevant local hashtags related to your brand or business. Mistake number three is not testing out new hashtags. You'll always have your trial and tested hashtags that'll pull engagement from your audience. However, the biggest mistake you can make right here is getting too comfortable and not testing out new hashtags. Using the same old hashtags are only gonna make your content show to already existing audience. So make sure to test out new hashtags so that you can increase your reach and pull in new audiences. And the final mistake is not researching your hashtags. And this is exactly what I'll be covering in the next section. So I'll take you to my phone and show you how it's done. Before we dive into finding training hashtags, it's important to know that not all hashtags are equal. In total, there are about five different types of hashtags as shown on the screen. They're location, branded, industry, community, and descriptive. The type of hashtags you'll be using will vary on your business and the type of content you create. You'd wanna use location-based hashtags if you're based in a particular city or you target customers in a particular area. Some of the examples include hashtag New York City or hashtag I love New York City. You'd wanna use branded hashtags if you run various marketing campaigns promoting a certain product. This could be hashtag Nike, Adidas, or Puma. 
If you're a social media manager or wedding planner, you want to use industry hashtags like hashtag social media managers or hashtag wedding planners. And community focused hashtags include hashtag van life talking about a certain community in your industry. Are hashtags that talk about a particular community within your industry or niche. And finally, descriptive hashtags are hashtags about the actual content and I'll be using it to describe the content. Now for the sake of this video, I'm going to assume that I'm a vegan lifestyle content creator and I'm going to take you to my phone and show you how to find training hashtags. Now I'm on my Instagram and when I search up hashtag vegan, there are hashtags with over millions of posts in them. These are typically hashtags that we want to avoid. I'm ideally looking for hashtags between 10,000 and 100,000 posts. Anything less, I won't be getting the reach and the engagement that I'm looking for. And anything more, I'm going to get lost in the sea of content. So let's say I don't want to just focus on vegan recipes and I want to focus on vegan lifestyle. So I'm going to go and search for vegan lifestyle on the search function. So I came across hashtags like vegan lifestyle with over 65,000 posts, vegan lifestyle blogger uh, with 20,000 posts. So these are great hashtags that I can add to my posts and my reels. Now, let's say if there's still a lot of competition and not enough hashtags in the 10,000 and 100,000 range, I can dive deeper. Now, let's say I'm a mom and I want to focus on vegan lifestyle. I can search for vegan mom lifestyle hashtags. So now I come across hashtags like vegan moms with 37,000 posts, vegan mama with 24,000 posts and vegan mom lifestyle with around 5,000 posts. Now, these are great hashtags to add to your posts and there's not enough competition and the chances that you'll appear on the explore page is really high. Now I can dive further into this and let's say I want to look at vegan moms. I can look at all the content or the posts that are ranking currently for vegan moms. I can click on certain posts, find all the hashtags that they're attaching. And for this post, I found one that says plant based mom. And once again, this only has 70,000 posts, so I can dive deeper and deeper and find all hashtags. Now, what I recommend doing is adding all of these hashtags into an Excel sheet. So next time you want to create a post, you can simply copy paste them. Having an Excel sheet is also amazing because you can track how these hashtags are performing. You can test out a bunch of different hashtags, see which one resonate with your audience and which one improve your reach and engagement. I'm also attaching a link in the top right corner where I'm going to be showing you how you can schedule 60 Instagram posts in under 30 minutes using both free and paid tools. Now let's answer some frequently asked questions. Question number one is, should you use hashtags in your captions or in your comments? You'll often see people using hashtags in their captions or some of them in the comments because there's a belief that using hashtags in your captions will reduce the reach of your posts. However, Instagram came forward and said that it doesn't matter where you use your hashtags, it can be in the comments or in the caption and the reach will stay the same. Question number two is how can hashtags improve the likes I get on my comment? Take Sweaty Betty for example. It's a workout brand whose target audience is women with a passion for fitness. The account uses search-led hashtags like global running day to get more likes on their posts and branded hashtags like I am sweaty Betty to foster a sense of community and togetherness. By simply targeting the right hashtags, sweaty Betty gets over 2,500 likes per post and gets a lot of comments in the comment section. And question number three is how to save time with your Instagram hashtag strategy. As mentioned earlier, I highly recommend having 20 to 30 hashtags ready to go and saved in an Excel file. So when you're creating a post or a reel, you can simply copy paste them. Once again, I have an in-depth video on how you can create and schedule Instagram posts in under 30 minutes, and I highly recommend checking it out. So that's everything you need to know about Instagram hashtags in 2023. If you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and leave a comment with any questions below.